Hello, my name is Tamana. I am going to go over three things to know when you are beginning to project as a Tantra practitioner. Three things you should work out or look for while you're beginning your Tantra projection. Now, the goal is, what is Tantra? So, first of all, Tantra is the art of weaving masculine and feminine energy together to create healing, manifestation, and bliss. That's it in a nutshell. So, when we are coming to this earth, we have a blueprint, and that blueprint is perfect, right? This is our blueprint. It's perfect, right? But typically, life has a way of distorting, changing, adjusting things, and our blueprint becomes like this. So, whether it's like trauma, sexual trauma, not living up to parents' expectations, not living up to girlfriends or boyfriends' expectations, not living up to societal expectations, uh, things that have happened in the home that you saw, not getting enough nourish, nourishing, nourishing, uh, you know, traumatic experiences, yada, 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 the list goes on. So our tree becomes more like this. And our tree and our auric field, which would normally be nice and round, is a little bit distorted. So as we have our auric field, that's one thing. But as it manifests on the physical level, right? or um, the physical body, it's what is called nadis, meridian points, um, these energy highways and byways, which we call rivers and streams, right? To let it, the energy flow where it goes, to not only through the body, but out in the auric field and then back in through the body, right? So what happens is these traumatic experiences that I just said earlier become pebbles, rocks, boulders, and dams. So much so that it may affect us as physically in the body, i.e. Um, disease, right? And it's not just, you know, genital disease. It's just disease in general because of these energy blockages. So Tantra, the practitioner takes their energy and your energy takes their energy to clear up these rocks, pebbles, boulders, and dams to let the energy free flow so you can go back to that perfect blueprint being destined to what you were supposed to be, i.e. self-mastery, i.e. self on, on purpose or on what you were born here to do, yada, 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 all these good stuff, right? So as you're beginning your journey as a Tantra practitioner, these are the three things that should be known when you are beginning your first or very first Tantra table sessions. Number one, uh, be patient with yourself. You are a beginner, so there's no beat up conversation. The beat up conversation leads into ego, which adds a pebble to your stream, and we're not trying to do that because that affects projection. Does that make sense? So it's not a beat up conversation. You're not gonna, you know, even if you are talented, you're still trying to work out the technique and stuff. So it's not gonna be perfect each and every time, especially in the beginning. So be patient with yourself honor yourself and be that person on the table should be damn lucky that you are taking the time to learn these practices and project to them and to create healing manifestation and bliss not for not just for them but just for the just for humanity in general to do this is to do great work because it's selfless work healing is selfless work whether it's reiki herbology Yes, and even Tantra. It's selfless work. So kudos to you for doing it. I appreciate you, and I'm pretty sure humanity does too. Next thing is you will be too much in your head. Like, you'll be like, is, 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 is the uh, position right? Is she doing it? Is she feeling this? Oh, am I breathing right? Wait, what about my posture? Well, do I smell the smell? The smell in here? I smell something. Did I put this on? Is she comfortable? Is she warm? Oh, I see her twitching. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be focusing on my breathing. It, it just, it's, it's, it's such, it's what I call, you're too much in the conscious brain you're in the conscious brain right now it's not subconscious right now you don't it's kind of like walking so if i told you hey get up and go get my purse from the car please right you'll just stand up go walk to the door gonna go to my car get my purse and bring it back to me however if you if i'm saying get up and go to the car and get my purse 
as the 18 month old you, you're going to be like, Oh my goodness. Let me stand up. Let me balance. Okay. One foot right in front of the other. Oh, I see the door. I see the door. Grab it. Oh, thank God. I made it to the thing. I could brace myself. And you get the person, you know, and it's more conscious effort. So much so it can be irritating a little bit because it's so much in the moment effort and it's irritating. But you know that once you've done it over and over and over again, over and over, it becomes automatic. You can go to the door and be thinking about five other things by the time you got my purse. You know, you may not even be present. You may be over in your next vacation the whole time where I asked you to go get your purse. And you're not even worried, worried about walking and you didn't even see that, that pebble that was right there that you just so happened to step over because you knew that was what you were supposed to do. Otherwise you would trip and fall. You didn't even notice that because you've done it so many times. So at first though, you need to not beat yourself up and have patience because you're going to go through that thing where you're going to be very present and you be worrying too much about technique or whatever or whatever, whatnot that you, it hasn't been automatic yet. So allow that to be automatic, automatic. And the only way to do that is flight time. You've got to put in the work. You got to do it over and over. You got to keep walking. You got to keep practicing. You got to get the little card out, you know, the little cart with the baby and, and practice walking, get the little walker, just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until it becomes second nature. And it will, it will. Okay, number three. Number three is trust and believe they are receiving energy. Even in all of your myths, all of this, they are getting the energy because where thought flows, energy goes. So if you are thinking about projecting to them, guess what? They're getting their your energy and you are projecting to them and they are taking that energy to heal themselves and create bliss and manifestation. So know that that's happening. And yes, they are getting the energy, even if it looks like they're not like sometimes people check out because it's new to them or they don't want to deal with the energy. So they'll just like kind of be like up here and be like, okay, well, I'm just going to check out over here and you just do whatever you need to do with my body and heal me and fix me. And then I'll check back in. No problem. But what people don't realize is Tantra is a two player game. You can't be all up here on the table and your practitioner is doing all this and not participating. So as a practitioner, if you see that, usually you want to shake the body and be like, Hey, you know, get present with me or you'll do like touches to get them back from right here to, you know, in their body, like touches, or you may do words of affirmation or see words of healing, things like that to bring them down from here. But again, as a, as a beginner, you may not think to do that. It's like, I got too much going on. I'm still trying to worry about my breath and is my hand placement right? And you know, it's just, just, just be patient with yourself. No, it takes time. And yes, you can get it. You will get it as long as you put in the work. Just like how everyone else says, put in the work. Flight time. Yes. And you'll get it. So those are my three things that you should know as a beginner practitioner, tips and tricks just to help you along your journey and say, good job. We appreciate you. We need you. Humanity does need you. Humanity really does. So thank you. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how you like this. Check out the other videos. There are a host of other slew of topics that you can be interested in. And thank you so much. Take care. Bye.